I, I've never felt fear quite like that. Sadie Reedy recalls the panic she felt when she went to wash dishes for a few minutes and noticed her two sons were eerily quiet. Ten-month-old Colson was nowhere to be found, but three-year-old Jackson gave a hint. He says, baby in, and he points to the vent. Where's the vent at? That one. <laughs> Reedy said the family had been doing construction on their 1920s Coburg home and hadn't screwed down the screen on the vent. Reedy immediately called the police when she realized Colson may have fell down it. I'm pretty sure dispatch thought I was crazy because I was freaking and, you know, screaming. Coburg Police Chief Larry Larson says they were quite alarmed by the call. That's a call that we haven't had before, so I mean they troubleshot it real quick and figured out they gotta, you know, remove some, some flooring to get to the baby. That's when officers sprung into action, entering through a tiny crawl space underneath the house. The officer was able to lift Colson up through the vent where officers were ready to grab him. She was late. She was just so happy because it was pretty stressful for her. Aside from a few scratches and being very dirty, he was completely fine. I've never felt so relieved. I'm pretty sure I was bawling. Reedy posted her experience online to warn other parents of the dangers of older heating vents. I think we screwed that vent down immediately after the police yes. left. Especially since children can be rambunctious. That's all it really takes is just a few minutes of silence before they're doing something. Uh. Yeah. Days later, she brought Colson by the station to thank the officer who saved him. I'm Alex Hossenstab reporting.